SLED worked hard to locate all the witnesses, even trying to track down going to the Valero for some of the people that were standing around in the parking lot, the citizens, to see if the clerks there could identify who these people were so that we could ask everybody who might have any information. He spoke to everybody that we could locate. He got statements from anybody who might have been present and able to give us information and insight into what took place there. But the one person we didn't talk to and couldn't talk to was Officer Moreno himself. I don't want to make this decision, especially a decision to charge him without giving him the opportunity to talk to me. So I reached out to him yesterday and I asked if he would be willing to come up here. He has, uh, as a member of the PBA, a, a lawyer that was assigned to him. I reached out to his lawyer, Mr. Michael Lobshire, who came up here with him this morning and he spoke to me. And I asked him, I explained to him uh, what the consequences of what had taken place were. I showed him the video. We went through it together. I told him, I'm not here to interrogate you. This isn't my opportunity to get a statement. I just want to know as the solicitor, the guy who's got to charge you, is there something I'm missing? Is there something you want to tell me before I make this decision? It was apparent to me that he was already in distress over what he'd done. He knew he'd made a mistake. He was aware of that, and I could tell he was remorseful and he felt bad. Now, we're up here talking to you about the law and policy and procedure and what the legal ramifications and what this means and what that means, but there's another side to this too. There's a human issue here. What took place created a lot of turbulence in the city of Rock Hill and it upset a lot of people, and rightly so, with respect to Mr. Travis Price. I understand why people were upset. I do. We don't just need a legal resolution to this, I told him. We need a human resolution, too. And I explained to him, when you make a mistake, what is the right thing to do? And he did not need any convincing. I, mm -hmm. I, I think he uh, genuinely feels bad about what happened. And so I asked him, I said, we're going to meet today on a m moment of, of inspiration. I said, we're going to meet today, and we're going to have the press here. And I don't know whether you have anything you want to say about all this. Because the community is who's been offended, not just the community, but your colleagues in the Rock Hill Police Department who have to go out every single day to protect this community. The community needs to know they can trust law enforcement and law enforcement needs to know they have the support of, co of the community because you can't have a society without police. You have to have both the trust of the community and law enforcement to keep the community safe. I think he wants to uh, make a statement and I said, well, if you want to, I will be more than happy to make the podium available to you. So he is in the back over here and I am going to give him a minute to get up here. He is not gonna answer questions. He's going to leave from here with Agent Slazuski and go over to the detention center to be booked. After he's done talking, uh, the three of us up here, he will leave, and the three of us up here will be available to answer any questions you have. My name is Jonathan Moreno. I'm a former police investigator with the Violent Crimes Unit at the Rock Hill Police Department. After 10 years in the city of Rock Hill, I finally felt like I was at home. Although I have done many great things in my career as a police officer and in the community, many of you have seen my recent actions and have learned about the incident between myself and Travis Price. Mr. Price, I wish we met on better terms under different circumstances and after reviewing every camera angle, many, uh, 
I know now that you were allowed to be in the area. I apologize for the misunderstanding. My mistakes and meeting you in such a negative way, I just wish my emotions didn't get the best of me. My choice of words do not define my character. I sincerely apologize for what you have experienced. What occurred is out of my character. As a man, a father, and a former police officer, being held accountable is the only rule, and I am no exception. I'm here to be held accountable for my actions. I hope the community will accept my apology. I hope my brothers and sisters in law enforcement will accept my apology. Travis Price, I hope you accept my apology. I'm sorry. I am here not only to apologize, but understand that I did make a mistake. I am here to own it. And I am here to make it right. 